chores done and I wanted to give you a baby bunny update. These babies are two weeks old. They've got all their fur on them. Their eyes just started opening yesterday. Um, and we have one that is bigger than the other one, but they're both doing really well. So here's one baby. Let's see if we'll focus here. They're little squirmy guys. They like to squirm, squirm, squirm to try to get out of my out of my hands. But you can see this one's got its eyes open and they are covered in fur. They're doing really well. They stay nice and snuggly in here. So this is the first baby. You can see the other ones down in there. And they just snuggle right down in there. Mama keeps them covered up. Pretty soon they'll be out jumping around and getting wild. I'm gonna sneak in there and get him down in there and cover him up. Really windy this morning and um, so now they're all covered. Stay warm in there. We've got our heat lamp up in here with the tarp. Here's mama um, to try to keep them warm. But anyway, babies are doing really, really good in there. Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday. We had a good weekend. It was super busy. Um, Saturday, we ended up going to my in-laws house and butchering another steer, which I'm super thankful that we're done doing that. <laughs> We've got three pigs left, but pigs are a lot easier than a steer is. Um, so we did that, but I'm thankful for meat in the freezer. Full freezer beef for the entire year. Um, then yesterday we went to church and enjoyed lunch at friend's house. And so today my husband is back at work. We have kind of an odd week this week. He works today, off Tuesday, works Wednesday, off Thursday and Friday, works Saturday and Sunday. So um, today we're getting ready to start school. Let's see, I just took a shower, it's 8.42. I'm gonna go straight out and get a drink and change a baby's diaper and get school work started. Okay, we have change of plans. I forgot today is Monday, which means we have art class this morning. Austin's grandma just showed up. So we're gonna have art class first before we get all our other stuff done. Okay, we just finished our art class and it's hard to see him with that light. It doesn't wanna focus very well. Um, everyone's having a little snack because it's snack time. It is 10 o'clock, a little after 10. So everyone's having a snack. This is my snack. I'm having um, some turkey slices with some cheese and some mayonnaise and some pickles. I'm gonna roll them up and eat them. Dude. Sit down. And we're gonna get our our other school work started now that our class is done. It is a little after one o'clock. Where my phone went to. Um, we are, whew, we didn't get all our school work done yet. The boys, big boys have to finish theirs, but everyone's taking a little break. We just finished lunch. So everyone's having a little break outside right now. The sun's shining. It's not, it says 38 degrees, so it's not super warm, but on the front of our house here, when the cold wind blows, it's blocked from the house. And then the sun shines on this side of the house, so it's actually pretty, probably at least 10 or 15 degrees warmer on this side of the house than it is everywhere else. So mostly they stay here on the cement and play when it's cold outside. Um, so they're all outside playing. I'm trying to clean up the kitchen a little bit. I just swept the floor and scrubbed the front of the stove and oven. Now I'm gonna wash some of these dishes to get them drying because otherwise they just keep building and building and building. So we're gonna do about 10 more minutes of break and then um, finish school with the boys and start cleaning bedrooms. Okay, boys are done with their school. It only took them a few minutes. They got mostly all their stuff done early. Or not early. They got it mostly done by themselves. So Clayton's taking a nap. Kyla Mae is bringing all her clothes out while the other girls, Kendon's practicing some bunny rabbits, huh? Is that what you learned how to draw this morning at art class? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Um, Kyla Mae's bringing her clothes out here. The other girls are cleaning up their bedroom. And we're gonna go through Kyla's clothes first okay. and sort through and keep some outfits and get rid of a lot so that she doesn't have so many clothes taking over everywhere. But the problem is that a lot of her clothes are dirty. So we'll have to take that into consideration. You can't do it on this. Why not? Okay, if you the pony a lot of baby clothes. Really awesome. Okay, well you'll have to sort through them. So I want you to put like all your underwear in one pile, all your shirts in one pile, all your skirts in one pile, all your dresses in one pile. Sort through everything. fits you nicely and it looks nice is that one you want to keep like for a church dress oh it has a big rip in the bum no just turn so I can look at it to see if maybe I can fix it for you I guess maybe we're not gonna keep this one it looks like it's about ready to rip all the way up there and if I sew it any tighter it may not look very good so I guess we're not keeping that one, even though that's a nice one. I think you and you two girls, we're going to have to go out to the Connex maybe. We'll see what Cadence has. I guess you've got enough outfits really without that. Wow. Okay, go ahead and go put your other clothes back on. Have a game. All right, so and anyway, Kyla is growing like crazy. Huh? <laughs> She's, yeah. how old are you? Eight? Eight. She's eight. She's growing a lot. I'm sure out there in the Connex I have more clothes that would fit her. But like maybe one of these days we'll find them. 12. But right now I'm gonna stick with what she's got. I may, I may get her a new church dress, a nicer no, no, one. No, no, not this one. I I know you keep oh, yeah, that one and get you another new one since that one's got a big rip in the back. So all right, go change your clothes back in. Alright, we are done sorting girls' clothes. I need to sort Kenan's clothes. Um, that's a lot of fishies, Kyla Mae. We got rid of two bags worth of girls' clothes. This bag here and this bag here are both out of here. I'm going to take them out and put them in the van. I'm almost, I'm almost tempted to just throw them in the dumpster because... Most of them have holes in them and they're really stained, but there's a few nice things, so I don't know what I'll do with them, but I know they're not staying in the house.
amazing of cutting up our own meat, butchering our own meat. These are our steaks and they look wonderful. These are New York strip steaks. Much cheaper than buying them at the store. And we're just cooking them in some oil on the stove top. And um, hopefully I get them, we get them cooked right and we don't overcook them, huh? I'm not the greatest steak cooker in the world. Austin usually does the steaks. I cooked the three steaks in there already. Yeah, you did. Yeah. So the reason Crispin is cooking the steaks is because in his fun school journal on Friday, he made a to-do list. And the one thing on his to-do list was to cook a steak. It was something he likes doing. And so we got steaks out so he could do it. Just wasn't on Friday. But usually Austin cooks steaks um, on the barbecue. However, the barbecue is still in the trailer out there. We have not dug it out yet. It's behind some weightlifting thing. And we haven't gotten that out yet. So we haven't been able to use it, but we'll get it out before the weather warms up probably. And then we've got my our toast here to go in the um, broiler. And... I've got carrots cooking and then we've got a little bowl of grapes. So that will be our dinner. So I'm gonna finish um, getting this all cleaned up. I hope you enjoyed watching today and hanging out with us. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you head over there and follow me on Instagram. I share a lot more of my day-to-day -day things over there and I would love to have you join me there. Um, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you all next time. Bye.